Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Dwarf Fortress! Last episode, we ended with being just about ready to start producing armor for our squads. We also created a new military squad. We've got the Oily Arrows, which is our range squad, and our original squad, the OGs here, the Laborious Funerals, which is a pretty telling name, I would say, for a Dwarven military. I don't know why sometimes we don't get graphics for the Dwarves. I don't know what the deal is there. I mean, unless there's some chance this isn't a dwarf. It's a human soldier or something. No, but that's not the case. Yeah, I don't know. And I mean, I guess it's the same thing over here. This is English. You know why I'm betting? I was going to say, if they're stacked in a tile with multiple things... No, I mean, their graphic is definitely rendering elsewhere. I just thought maybe it was using the same, like, the same graphic state for the 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 dwarf to be rendered everywhere, but that's not the case. Yeah, I don't know why it's like that. Anyway, let, let's get armoring. So even though this is a squad of archers, we do have them configured to be metal armored archers. So we are going to be asking for 20 copies of import armor parts. And if we do select a squad, we can see all the slots that they would like to have gear in. So they get some sort of chest item, some sort of leg item, head, hands, and feet. For chests, we've got a few different options. We're going to be making steel chain shirts. Chain shirts cover the torso. There's like there's a few different slots that uh, get covered by uh, things. So you can make a breastplate. And I think a breastplate has um, very, very good armor rating, but it only covers the torso. I think that it's upper torso, lower torso, but it's got that. Whereas a chain shirt covers upper torso, lower torso, as well as upper legs and upper arms. So I'm going to do that. I think you can, your dwarves can layer equipment uh, quite a bit, but we're not going to stress about that at this point. But yeah, we're going to get ready with their torso. So we're going to ask for a steel chain. What do they call them? Mail? Mail shirt. Steel mail shirt. There we go. Uh, I'm going to ask for steel helmet as well so we can protect their noggin. We're gonna start with just those two, and then we'll be looking at gauntlets and boots and greaves later. We'll do that. We're gonna change the number of these to 20 of each. Now, we're gonna get a lot of messages about not having enough steel in here um, as people try to make this because we're you know just gonna have to catch up on things. We put limiters on steel. I think we only keep 20 bars around, and what we're asking for requires a lot more than 20 bars, but. That's okay. As in the work order system, even if something gets canceled, it'll get re and that's going to be okay. So as long as we don't mind the fact that we're going to get the cancellation message a bunch, which I don't, we're going to keep that going. The assumption is that our... <gasps> we got snatchers. Some little goblins. Here they are. Now, we're going to go... And again, I'm a little confused. I thought when we got the message that the snatchers existed was when we spotted them because they encountered someone, and usually they ran away, but... Maybe something has changed. I'm going to tell both my squads to go ahead and station up here. So they're going to move over here. There you go. And the Snatchers will decide to run away. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cancel the commands now. Just make sure to do that. One way that you can ensure to spot some of these stealthy things is you can um, just leash some dogs and things, or any kind of animal, really, by your gates. There's a few different tricks. This is nicely done, right? Yeah, yeah we, got, we got the flooring over here. All the walls are done. Beautiful. I love our little tower. It's a short and squat tower, but it's a dwarven tower. So short and squat really kind of fits, you know? Okay, that's great. I'm happy that we're getting armored. That's nice. Um, I think our food supplies are going down a scooch. Also the drinks, but the drinks should be happening. Let me see here. Brew, brew drink from plant. Oh, we don't have enough barrels currently. Okay, our barrel job is just making one at a time. Let's kick this up. So you can make five at a time. Um, assuming you got some logs. Well, here we go. Assuming we got logs. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cancel this. Wait. Not satisfied for next check. So actually, we do have more barrels than that? Okay, let me change. This is odd. So, oops. Wrong button. So according to this, we have more than 10 barrels because this is not satisfied but then if we look at brew drink from plant oh this this didn't need 10 maybe we, okay we might have a slightly awkward number let's keep more around then 
Um, let's keep, let's try to maintain 20 empty barrels. Or I'm willing to bet if I set this to 11. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's because this is set to more than. That's why. This needed empty uh, storage items greater than 10, which means it needs at least 11 around to satisfy. If I change this to nine, then this would work. Okay, I didn't realize we we're in kind of this stuck little thing. Again, I kind of wish maybe this changed to be at least instead. Because then it, as a default, if it was at least 10 as opposed to greater than 10, things would sort of work out better without having to like tweak some of these numbers as often. So for the barrel, maybe I won't say... Oh yeah, I switched this back. Um barrels i will change the number to a little bit more though so we have more of a buffer kicking around and we're switching it to do five at a time which should help us keep pace with things now we do have some farming happening down here if we do more brewing we're going to process more of the plump helmets into spawns which means we will be planting more i don't think i don't think we have a shortage necessarily of um crops crop space um we may not be producing we may not be processing the plump helmet as quickly enough to satisfy this. And we were sort of frozen on producing it as well, just because we didn't have the barrel situation probably sorted out. These iron bolts, see how they're forbidden over here? So these were used probably for some sort of hunting or combat. And by default, when they get fired, they do get forbidden. So you can unforbid them in the stocks. But the other thing you want to do from time to time, perhaps, while uh, things are peaceful, is just come here, hit this button. And the forbid, like this is the claim of forbidden item. I'm going to click in this corner. I'm going to go all the way over here. Then I'm going to go up and click. And that should have unforbidden. I don't know where that was. I guess I could go back in the stocks. Let's take a look here. Yeah, see, these bolts are unforbidden. Now, there might still be some bolts that are forbidden somewhere if there's combat, say, under the surface. But it's not just bolts. There could be other things that got dropped because of combat that got forbidden on the surface. So, you know, you want them to be forbidden so that your dwarves, your haulers don't run off into the middle of battle to pick up a, a bolt in the middle of a giant firefight. But when it's at peace, yeah, then you can just go and clear that out. Next thing I want to do is the thing where I build kind of a road around the fortress walls just to prevent any trees from growing right adjacent to it uh, which might allow enemies to climb the trees and use that to pop into our fortress in some way so that would be kind of annoying um oh dwarven caravan is here lovely um in classic these boulders here would be very inconvenient for placing roads uh, the reason is that in classic the way you build roads is you actually like go into you would sort of go into construction and paved roads but rather than click and drag you would actually kind of specify like a five by three area for example and if there was anything obstructing that site it wouldn't let you place it so these boulders are really inconvenient here in the steam version with the like sort of mouse drag rectangle thing it's kind of good because what it does it still won't build a road where the boulder is but it'll build around it but if you do want to get rid of the boulders you use the smoothing command for it so same way you smooth rocks and, and walls and stuff you can smooth these boulders and that will eliminate them. I, I could click and drag a smooth here. It won't smooth anywhere there's grass, but anywhere there was exposed stone, it would smooth that. And I don't really need them to do this. So mostly I'm just going to use this to just clear out some of those boulders. And then once that's done, we can make a nice little flooring. There's some combat. Nope, more hunting. More hunting of aardvarks. Very popular. Uh... Can't. Sporting at... Quarry? I don't know what the right word would be. Prey? I'm not sure. But apparently it's quite common. All right. The dwarf leader is willing to have a little chit chat. So we'll ask for, you know, we'll ask for a few different times of leather just to make sure we're getting some. Again, hopefully they bring some leather in general. But leather is something that I, I feel like I can always use quite a lot of it. Unless I do get a big ranching industry going on. Um, I've got that. We are getting some of it from hunting, but probably we want more. I'm going to ask for some cloth. Maybe some silk as well, because we might get some strange moods. So this will guarantee that it gets brought. I'll ask for more plump helmet and pigtail seeds, because I still want a decent amount of those coming in. I think we've got quite a few anvils now, and I can always make my own now that we've got things sorted out. Sometimes asking for weapons is a good idea, but they can be expensive. 
and right now we're I'm sorted to make my own weapons, right? But if I didn't have steel or didn't have silver, so the only weapons I could make would be kind of out of crappy soft metals, then it might be more important for me to request some. I'd still have to pick and choose which ones I, I bought because I'd want good stuff. Same thing with armor. Sometimes that can be a good thing to ask for, but I might not worry about it here. Um, I wonder, could I get you to bring cows? Or sorry, not cows, um, pigs. Let's request sows and boars so we can actually start that. That I wouldn't mind. So we'll request that and hopefully we get at least a breeding pair and get that kicked out, kicked off. Um, we do brew our own booze, but you know what? Make sure you bring some booze. I'm very pleased about that. Um, I mean, I don't mind buying thread either. There we go. I was to say, where's the yarn? Okay. Done. So again, it tells us what next year they're going to be offering us premium for, but I wish we got kind of a reminder of what was most valuable this year. Not that it matters. We're just going to sell the mugs anyway. <laughs> we, have, we do one thing, but we do it well. Mugs. goods uh we'll bring up the gems just in case i want to sell it for extra money but yeah we might start doing some encrusting oh we're about 50 dwarves we probably have a mare now i gotta check on that so i was just thinking oh my god what if there's a mandate by default this view does get filtered so if um if our noble decrees that something not be sold it will be banned in the list however it's possible that some things might randomly be in a bin with other things as we grab stuff so we could theoretically still accidentally something that sell something that we're not supposed to now if we ever got a mayor who loves mugs and therefore would probably often decree that mugs not be traded that would have to suffer an accident okay we don't have a mayor yet maybe it's not at 50 or maybe you got to be at 50 for a while i actually don't know where the breakpoints is for that but it's certainly going to be soon this still this is this is not in previous versions of dwarf fortress and this is still really handy to be able to see if things have been fully carried up here or not. There we go, two more. Do, 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 do. One more. Here, we'll request, oh, there we go. So we'll request the broker now anyway. And then presumably by the time he gets here, the dwarves will have finished unpacking. There you go, trading a depot. Oh, might've gotten interrupted along the way. Probably some, <coughs> excuse me. Some of these cranky dwarves are probably complaining to the, uh, the leader okay oh excuse me so if i were to mark all that'd be six thousand dwarf bucks worth of stuff now theoretically some of these bins might have finished goods that aren't mugs or something like that you know uh, depending on what our artifacts is are some of them might have snuck in there that's a quiver in here but i'm not going to care too much because the problem is now um if i were to unselect this bin or if i like I can't just invert this. I, I feel very much like in classic that could happen where if I like, like click the bin, but I actually want everything except this, we'd be able to do it. But I mean, this is not an artifact. There's no reason for me to keep it. In fact, it's so worthwhile. Oh, does this say it contains items? Well, the water skin probably contains, well, water or beer. This probably contains some bolts. But yeah, I'll leave it in here for now anyway. Um, we'll see. We might not be buying that much and I'll be able to I could cancel some stuff. We'll get some random glass. Yeah, we'll buy, again, we'll buy logs because they're cheap and saves us a little bit of time. I will get these water skins, which again, makes it that much more weird that I'm selling some, but the UI does not make it very convenient for me to filter those out. So we want water skin slash flask. These all function exactly the same and allows our military to keep some drinks around. These I believe will be some instruments. So we'll purchase those for our tavern. Sure, random cage for our traps. It's going to be okay. Wine. Uh, iron crossbow is fine. Bismuth bronze might be fine too as a bashing thing. We'll go ahead and pick that up. And yeah, we're making our iron ones, but what the heck, right? We could buy some armor. I'm not convinced that bismuth bronze is a great defensive thing. This value is really low, so I probably won't bother. But maybe we'll get um, we'll get some of this little clothing. Iron cap might be fine. Gloves, mittens. 
Sandbag, no. Sweet pod, no. Cave wheat. I mean, we could start a cave wheat crop. Maybe I will go and get that. We've probably got some. Here's just some pigtail. No, wait, that's a sandbag. M the bag itself is made out of pigtail. Uh, quick lime. Pigtail seeds, yes. Plump helmet spawns. Pigtails, plump pig. Plump pig. Good. Now, okay, they've got 2,000. If I asked for all their bins, oh, they'd still be turning a profit. So it's a bunch of leather and some cloth. Okay, no, I'm kind of okay with this. Uh, I will grab some anvils. I don't know what our anvil count is. Ooh, well, hold on. Is there something else I might want a little bit more? Well, I could just buy a bunch more plump helmets. And I think I've got a good amount, but... These backpacks are pretty cheap. That one's a little less cheap. And these quivers as well. Ooh, they're probably not making enough profit. Okay, I'm going to try to trade like this. Okay, good. They took it. They're pleased. They're not ecstatic. It's not the biggest trade value they could have gotten. But yeah, that's fine. All right. No trader required anymore here. And yeah, hopefully this will lead to even more migration waves. And yeah, we don't actually have a... All right, no mare yet. Still, give us more time to keep working in this bedroom, which I guess I'm going to go and kit out a little bit more now. Um, use closest material for doors is fine here. This thing, for the furniture, I'm willing to just keep using the closest, unless I happen to have artifact furniture, like our one artifact door. But when I'm doing construction, it's important that I don't use that, because I don't want you using metal bars. So i got better things to do with metal bars. Doors in there. We'll get um, a bed for the fancy bedroom. Oh, we have no beds. Do I just want to ask for one? Or do I want to ask for a few more to be kicking around? I guess we'll just ask for one right now. Please make one bed. Oh, one male shirt, one helm being made already. That's nice. Good, good, good. <clears throat> uh, we are going to need a few other things for decorating this place. We are going to need... Um, armor stands, weapon stands. Nobles always want those. Ooh, we got a strange mood. Instantly claimed stoneworker's workshop. Okay, hang on a sec. Uh, military. Oops, not trade depot. I'm assuming we don't have these. Oh, we do have a weapons rack. Interesting. An armor stand? Yeah, okay. So I don't have to worry about queuing those up. So this is going to be the office. And this is going to be a bit of a dining room. Combat. Is it real combat? No, I think we're okay. All right. What did you claim? This workshop here. And you're not in it. So you're wandering around picking up your material. Good. I just want to babysit this. Make sure we don't end up in a situation where something is missing. I don't feel like we'd end up in a situation where we don't have all the things we need right now. Uh, I suppose it conceivably something like missing shell or something could happen. Wow. You're still grabbing stuff. This is going to be a heck of an artifact. The more things go into it, the more value it's got. You're still collecting. So you got some rough gems, some uncut gems. Okay, a couple of doses of bones. So a bunch of rock, some bones, steel bars, and some rough gems. All right, well, let's see what you make out of it. Oh, kids are playing in here. Uh, you know, before we need it, let's go ahead and put a little smooth job over here. We could do some more engraving as well for high quality, like just, yeah, high value, high quality stuff. But I'll just wait on it for now. So we don't tra trade with the merchants. We might have made some more mugs, so we could go and do a second batch of trading, but I'm not going to stress about it. It'd be such a small a little trade at this point that I'm not worried about doing the micromanagement. Actually, I should design a second one of these because our sheriff, and we are going to want a sheriff soon, is going to want the same the same exact setup, I think, is what we've got going on here. So I'll make a pair of these suites. And they are pretty sweet. Rock salt earring. Ooh. Actually, I'm just realizing this is not the right size. It's like that. Hmm. 
Get that dug out. Let's take a look at this artifact. Ashzosrirnal. The Distracting Respect. Mm. This is a rock salt earring. All craft warpship is of the highest quality. Ooh, 14,000 dwarf bucks. It is studded with steel and encircled with bands of round rock salt cabochons and round hematite cabochons. The object menaces with spikes of hematite and crundle bone. On the item is the image of the distracting respect. Wait, it's a recursive artifact. It's got an image of itself on it. Yeah, it's got an image of the distracting respect, the rock salt earring and adventuring. On the item is an image of Endok Worship Lanterns, the Dwarf in Crundlebone. Is Endok one of ours, or is it a historical figure like the king? Uh, we don't have an Endok. So it might be a old dead warrior, could be the current king, I'm not sure. I'd have to check the Legends file for it. But yeah, we got a recursive artifact. That's brilliant. I love it. Uh, that's all hunting, which is great. We still have six cranky dwarves, and some of them have been cranky for a while. Including this human, which is annoying. Uneasy. Oh, you want to crack this military. Our object. Family, friends. I think acquire object will be satisfied by getting fresh clothing. Do Hold on. Do we have a clothing industry set up in here? I don't think we do, do we? No, let's get some clothing going for people. So, I mean, we do have a loom, so thread will be woven into cloth. I don't even think we have a clothier set up, do we? No. Okay, let's get that sorted out then. Um, actually, that's something. I, I have something else to get rid of old clothes, too. Okay, let's build furniture. No, workshop. Under clothing and leather, we're going to build a clothes workshop. I'm going to build a dyer as well. I think, I don't know if we grow dimple cups. We'll have to check on that. But I believe dyed clothes looks more fancy. So we'll set those two up. Let's check our farming. Um, well, your fallow year round. Oh, yeah, because I, I kind of want to just be growing down below here now. Okay. I don't know how much dye I want. I might be overkilling things here. I think I, I, I'm just going to go ahead and make another 3 by 5 uh, What am I looking for? Workshops. Farming. Farm plot. Here, I'll put a gap between them as well. And then I'm going to build another one over here too. I'll grow some extra pigtails. Okay. Dyes, more pigtails. Actually, we're going to need quite a lot of pigtails. Let me set up a bigger one. So we want multiples of four minus one, which is why this is 16 minus one, 15. Um, I don't know. Nah, it's fine. I was going to make a bigger one, but we still have one on the surface. We can just make multiples of this size too. Okay. This is still just hunting sounds. Oh, well, one of our dwarves, the one who was orange before, has now moved on to yellow, which is good. I think overall, dwarves are moving to happier and happier. Maybe not as quickly as we'd like, but it is getting there. Okay, so this is going to be a just a dimple cup area. Yeah, you're leaving. That's fine. Uh, we don't have any seeds right now. I think we've, we probably just have never processed the dimple cups we've grown. I didn't realize you could grow dimple cups year round. That's interesting. I'm not going to do any fertilizing for it. Now, our pigtails, we can only grow summer and autumn. So I'm going to go and fertilize in the summer. Okay, I guess that's a one time. I kind of want to fertilize every season, but not in the winter. I don't know. I guess I'll go and fertilize every season. And we'll go ahead and grow plump helmets in the off season. That's going to be okay. All right. Keep that going, that's fine. Got little spiders. That's a living cave crocodile? Thought it was a skeleton. Ooh, okay. Creepy. All right, you over here. So, um, hold on. So the dye job. It'll be a little easier to see over here. If I put in a dye cloth or thread, you can dye the thread first. Which, we might start doing that. Hang on. If I put this in. 
Red thread. Die item. I don't remember if you have to process the dimple cups first in a farmer's workshop. I feel like the answer is probably yes. Okay, let me, um... I can check the wiki, I suppose. So we got a few different ways to process plants. All right, yeah, we'll check the wiki. Dwarf, fortress, die. Die is made by milling. Oh, milling. Oh, it's not processing. It's milling. Okay. All right, so there's two different ways that we can mill plants. You can either use a millstone or quern. A millstone has to be powered, so we need to set up a uh, windmill or water mill. Well, it wouldn't be a water mill on this map. We do have a brook, but it's small and kind of out of the way. We'd really be setting up a windmill and using that to power a millstone. The other thing you can do is a corn. That is a manually operated millstone, effectively. It's definitely not as fast, but it will get the job done. And yeah, dyed items have their value increased. And it, I don't think, yeah, according to the wiki, it doesn't seem to matter if you're dyeing the cloth, the cloth or the thread. I think I'll just set up a corn right now. It'll be a lot easier. Um, so we're going to ask for a rock corn to be made. Just one. So you have to make the object first, and then you install it like a building. But you have to build it first. We'll put it down there, and we'll get our dimple cups to start getting processed. So there are, apparently there are four different uh, plants that can be milled into a dye. Dimple cups, which apparently gives you blue dye. Blade weed, which gives you emerald. Hide root, which gives you red. And sliver barb, which gives you black. Um, three of those, the blade weed, hide root, and silver barb, are on the surface, and the dimple cup is underground. We'll just do midnight um, dimple cup over all the people in some pretty blue clothing. All right, I'll take another barge. Sure. Oh, did that one come in orange? Because it just generated one, so it's possible that was one of the crankier people, which is annoying. These are all bedroom, right? Yeah. Okay. And over here. Uh. Uh, uh. I guess I'd only asked for one bed to be made earlier. Let's go ahead and put another one time make bed of one. Let's go ahead and smooth this. Oh, that hurt. Oh, there we go. Oh, I must have hit the, um, the eraser tool instead. Okay, uh, they're going to need, they're going to want, I think, at least a couple of chests. Now, I don't think they request cabinets, but I'm going to put them in. Oh, we'll put a little closet over there. Ooh, hunting a jaguar. Scary, but okay. Hopefully it'll work out. Now, let's also get a dungeon set up. I think it's going to be kind of hilarious if the dungeon is going to be right next to the dormitory. Uh, that is... That's nine long? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. It would be nice... Uh, you know what? I'll just make a line up with this. It would be nice if... Um, when you were dragging this out, if it would tell you the... Size of the area that you're dragging out. That'd actually be really nice. Um, I do have a job to make cages, I think, for our traps. Yeah, wooden cage. I'm going to put in a um, request for a batch of 10 to be made. We're going to put a row of 10 cages in here, which is really more than we need. But then it'll be ready for whatever comes. Door, door. Okay. Okay. So we're going to make some rooms here. We're going to have an office in the front. Then a dining hall. Then a bedroom. 
but we're going to assign these to someone. So let's make a sheriff first, since we still don't have a mayor. We can have our militia commander double as a sheriff. That seems appropriate enough. So Cole, Ducey, Marbon. We're going to assign these rooms to them. And it does put your people who have particular requests at the top here. So Cole, if we take a look, the sheriff, Cole, is now complaining about these. He's complaining about it from the sheriff point of view. But it's the same person, so it lists them both. So it is pretty smart about putting those people with requests at the top. So Cole is going to get a personal office, a personal dining room, and a fancier bedroom. You already had quarters, but we're going to give you a fancier room. More migrants! Okay. Now it's 61, 62. All right. Still kind of expecting something to happen election-wise relatively soon. Um, all right, so while I'm looking at this, and actually, I kind of don't like where I position these. I'm going to make a little move here. And cancel. And cancel. I just want them centered up a little bit more. I think I'm going to be much more pleased with that. Um, I wonder if our bed's already made. Lovely. So yeah, we'll do a mirror. Or not a mirror. Well, we could be a mirror by putting it over here. But no, I'll just put cabinets back there. We'll do the same thing with one, two, three, and then they're going to get moved over there. Perfect. Just wanted, yeah, a little further forward. Nice. And then the big question is, do I still have extra weapon racks and armor stands? And apparently the answer is yes. Okay. Office. Oh, I didn't take my click there. Done. Uh, dining hall. Done. And bedroom. Now, I'll assign it to Rimtar, maybe, for now. Uh, just because a dwarf will go and claim this. And, I mean, I can just kick them out later. Oh, then I'd have to find Rimtar on this list. Well, I guess it's this one here, Expedition Leader. Adoy. So, um, Rimtar, the Expedition Leader, doesn't, doesn't actually have demands for any of this right now. But we'll give it to them. And then when we do get a mayor, we're gonna, we'll reassign that over there. Oh! Guildhall! So, there are enough people who are part of the Farming Guild that we now have a request for them to have an actual Guildhall. So, let's take care of that, and then we'll end the episode. So Farmer's Guild, we have to remember. I don't know if there's anywhere to access the, the state of your petitions. Annoyingly. So you kind of have to remember that this has started. But we're going to make this the Guild Hall. We still have to deck out our library at some point. Now, the first thing, the Guild Hall request, is not, is not very demanding. It's pretty easy to satisfy that. But as they get more and more members, they will ask for fancier stuff. So you will need maybe bigger amounts of space and things. I mean, you can just move them. You can just cancel the zone over here and rebuild the zone in a bigger space, you know, wherever that might be. Doors, please. Yeah, sometimes my clicks don't take. I don't know why. I don't know if it's like between frame rate updates. Okay, so right now it's not very fancy, but we're going to go and do it anyway. So you started as a meeting area like so and then you assign it it's going to be a new guild hall and then you have to remember who's it for i'm going to stroll down to the farmers if i haven't already missed it farmers hall and if you mouse over you will see the count right so there's one worker who's part of it who would sort of part of a fishing cleaning guild but they're not organized whereas the farmer over here there's 13 so i believe this request comes in when they have more than 10 so it must have been a bunch of the migrants that come in. Oh, I got to remember to check the animals too with this migration wave. So that punched us over 10. And they do have a guild. It's called the Hall of Flights, but they don't have a space yet. So we're going to assign this space. The guild hall is called the Pairs of Jumping. Okay, fine. But it's going to be there. Now, if we check the details, this is currently just a meeting place because this room is worth 119 dwarf bucks. To become, to upgrade from a meeting place to a guild hall, we need 2,000 Dwarf Bucks. That's the next level, and the next level is the Guild Hall. You can also specify who's allowed to come hang out over here. Uh, but yeah, we'll just uh, 
just allow members, but you can allow other people. And this can be very useful if you want people to kind of cross train on skills, but I'm not worried about it for the farming thing. I'm just going to say only members is going to be fine, but we do need to fancy it up. So we got a few different tools that we can use for that. Um, we'll do some smoothing. We might do some engraving afterwards, but we can also give them some furnishings. Furnishings? Yeah, apparently furnishings. So let's give them some tables and chairs to start off with. Now, ideally, we'd want the best possible just because we are looking to boost value. So we could kind of look down here while these are all kind of the same. I might wait, want to wait for a batch of like tables to get done and then just pick the best ones so that it adds more value. I might actually want to add, I'm going to go ahead and ask for 10 more tables and chairs. I know I've got the automated thing, but I want a bunch more to be made in bulk so I can pick and choose the fanciest stuff. Also, do I have statues? I think the answer is going to be no. Oh, I do have a couple. Whoops. I didn't actually mean to click that because I wanted to check on the quality. I suspect I don't have a permanent job for that. I'm going to ask for another batch of 10 statues. And the same sort of logic, I'm going to try to, because we have limited space, I could just make it bigger so I could just load it up with a ridiculous amount of stuff. But I'm going to keep it at this size and I'm going to try to cherry pick the highest quality stuff just to get this to be satisfied as quickly as possible. Now, if we take a look at our labors, engraving, really, I want only the best people engraving because I want decent quality stuff. Unfortunately, we don't have any really good engravers. The best person right now is Aerith, the chief medical dwarf. So I suppose I'll go ahead and enable that. Yeah, these jobs don't matter because this is set to everyone. Um, smoothing, though, this does practice it. So actually, what I'm, I may want to limit the smoothing to just a certain number of people. We'll set up four people to do these smoothing jobs rather than have it be everyone. I don't know, maybe I'll limit to three and not the minor. There you go, three people. And only they will do engraving as well. So they can train themselves while they're doing smoothing, which I believe the stone cutting job is the smoothing job. So right now everyone's gonna finish because they started smoothing, but in a scooch, only three dwarves will continue to do this. Yeah, I want you to eradicate monsters. And in theory, I should have done this sooner so that we'd have three expert engravers ready to go. Um, just for training purposes, I'm going to ask them to smooth our workshop area. Now, maybe all these hallways, everything. You know what? Smooth all this. So these three dwarves, and there they are. These three dwarves are going to be the only ones smoothing over here. Uh, but it will mean we're going to be concentrating those skills, which is going to be great. Cages, cage, closest material is fine. I'm gonna plop down a bunch of cages in here. Ooh, petition. Um, sure, one more bard. I think they're yeah. I think some of our guests might be coming in slightly cranky. I, I didn't check beforehand, but it wouldn't surprise me if this new bard was also the orange face. It might not be, but I'm pretty sure the first one we went from zero to one last time I accepted an entertainer. To install these cages, then we're doing some smoothing. We are going to set up a dungeon over here. There we go. So we don't have to assign it to any particular thing, but we now have a dungeon and a sheriff, which means... Can we not... There it is. Fortress guard. Desired... Oh, metal cages. They have to be metal for this. Oh! Okay. That's interesting. Wood cages work pretty well for like traps and everything like that. But I hadn't realized that for the dungeon here, and I think the dungeon zone mechanic, the way it's implemented here, it is new. Uh, Conwood, tower cap. So one of these was metal, zinc, okay. I forgot wood. All right, I'm gonna ask for I guess, I guess I'll just do iron. And I'm gonna ask for nine to be made. Actually, I'm just asking for four. I was filling up this whole room. Oh, no, hold on. We have a specific request to have seven in total. I'm betting it's based on our population. So as I say, I could ask for six, but maybe I will go ahead and ask for nine. So we'll have the row of 10 back there and we'll have a little bit of future proofing. We could also put down chains instead of cages, but we'll go ahead with cages. 
All right, I can't remember if there's one more thing I want to try to deal with before. Well, I guess it was the guild hall, which we're kind of sort of working on. We'll have to continue that next episode. Okay, cool. I mean, our empire, or, or empire, not an empire, but our fortress gotten a lot bigger in the last couple of videos and is just going to continue to grow. We're going to need some more bedrooms soon. Already we have, because I think this is, these are 10 deep. So we have 40 rooms. We have 73 dwarves. We do have the dormitory, but the dwarves will be looking for more individual bedrooms. So we'll go and put those down pretty soon. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.